Hello everyone, my name is Assassin, welcome to how to run the zombie warfare launcher after you download it and host a dedicated server, a two for one special, so I don't have to worry about leaking any files because everything I have is already pre-downloaded, funny, but anyway, that is not the right folder. So welcome to my uh, zombie warfare folder. It's going to look a little different than yours because yours will probably have, well, V6. So um, I already have the launcher downloaded. Which is why I said after you download it. But uh, if you double click to run, it should give you this message. Which, you know, first time you're running the launcher, please configure your settings. So you're going to select your install directory, uh, go to, uh, if you're using Windows 11, it'll be here, whatever your name is for your PC, and then boom. Uh, if you're using Windows 10, there should be desktop on your sidebar here if not it will be right here and then if you have it just a folder just chilling you can call it zombie warfare click select a folder you're going to click finish and save now once you do that this magnificent thing will pop up you have your nice little settings which just does this when you check for launcher updates boom that's all you will have to do when there is a update you can click finish and save over here is your logs and I do recommend uh, putting the launcher inside of the folder with your where your files will be I do recommend that then you're just gonna hit verify and since I have all the files already it's just going to be like okay you're only going to need to check for any updates and then it will automatically install the uh, updated files for you. Whatever needs to be updated with a new hash. So, uh, yeah, this is going to take a minute. My, my, um, let me go open my downloads folder now. Well, we'll go ahead and skip over to the server files section. You're going, once you have this downloaded, once uh, this is publicized, you, if you're making a dedicated lobby, you're just going to drag over the lobby. If you want to make a dedicated server, you're just going to drag over the server. Uh, however, you will need to drag over this entire user raw file into, well, here and it will replace stuff in this you're going to click yes I'm just going to do this on the screen just to show you because I already have this but you do that and then you if you're doing a server you would just drag that over as well since I already have it uh, what you need to do is you're going to double click let's go and do all this and once you get to this point, you're going to do a uh, status, server is not running, and then mp, or uh, map, and mp underscore, and then whatever mouse, and map, so let's say you want to do a uh, firing range. And then, booby bubby beam, it will start up. Um, since the verifier is taking some time, we can just go ahead and manually launch Zombie Warfare. You will be able to do that with the launcher, by the way. I'm going to close down the launcher. It's being slow. But with the lobby now up and running, you will be able to click Join Game. And then you'll have to wait for a bit. You'll get this error, which is normal.
uh, this is a fake server, and then boom, there's the server I just made. You can double click, join it, or you can press enter on your keyboard, and this will load it you into the server. I recommend uh, only hosting a dedicated server if you've got a long, beefy computer. They finally fixed the error model there, oh my god. Progress. Uh, cause, yeah, the, the server will stutter if you ain't got something right. PC's decent, it's not that strong though. It is not the beefiest. Uh, looks like I'm accidentally finding a bug. <laughs> well, how actively playing this release of B7. But yeah, this is pretty much what you will do. And unironically, this is one of the maps the contest is in. For... something. I don't know what the reward is, but I do know that this is one of the maps that the A contest will be for. There's a ongoing contest to see who will get like a week early and access for V7. As you can see, uh, some weird stuff happens <laughs> because I'm playing and running the server at the same time on my machine. You get some, uh, you know, matrix bullet time and then the game speeds up <laughs> trying to catch up with all the information that just happened. It's great, it's beautiful, it's perfectly balanced. I don't even know what... Oh, that was the teleport one. Oh my god, did they actually fix the box speed? Yo, hold up. The uh, grenades are still purple. That's not an issue though. What I'm more interested in is... This has this been fixed after five millennia? No, <laughs> it just looked slower for the LMG. I don't know. This should just go through all the way, I'm hoping. If not, uh, I will just let this run. And I will stop the recording and then come back when it decides to finish. It freezes up on this one. I may have to scrap it. Video. Uh, no, I won't. Oh, this will just be unreleased for you, wizard. Well, something has happened here. Probably move that out of there. And that. Uh, okay, let's try that. It's going to be a big edit if I have to cut out. Yeah, I'm just going to have to cut out bit and pieces of this. Okay. 
Okay, so this looks to be an issue for some other reason. And I don't know why. Well, uh, have fun with that wizard. Do with this information what you will. Excuse me. <laughs>